Picha se. Picha. Hallelujah. Beloved in Christ. This is another day. The Almighty Jehovah has given us a breath. And he alone is ready to do this. So beloved, let us thank him in a prayer. So shall we pray. Our Lord and our King, immortal everlasting Father, what a wonderful savior that today around the whole world, you have given your children a breath and we are still breathing. Immortal, you are worthy. You are the King. You are the most high. We thank you for doing this for us. Father, you alone is worthy to be thanks. You alone is worthy to be praised. We magnify the name and the name is our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you and thank you and thank you for doing this for us. Unto thee, O Lord, would you, all things are possible. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, he is almighty Jehovah. Today too, he has given us a word. And the title of the message is Fear God and Keep His Commandment. Beloved, when we say fear God, you have to love him with your whole heart. And loving God with all your heart. That means you must fear him and not to sin against him. So if you fear someone, you don't sin against the person. If you fear someone, you do the right thing for that person. So beloved, we must fear him. And to love God, it's with your heart. The heart must be set upon him alone. With your soul, that is, you depend upon him alone. No one else, nothing else. That is, with your mind. Your mind means it is set for only Christ, your savior. And that is to fear him with your strength that you will do the work of God to evangelize, to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So beloved, we have to fear God. And the second commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor can be who doesn't know God. So the more you witness to them, you are loving that person. So beloved, we have to do this for our King, for our Lord. Hallelujah. We continue. We are going to read John 14 and the verse is 15. He said, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. If you love me, keep my commandments. So beloved, we have to do that. We have to obey our Lord Jesus Christ. He is our owner of this life. We cannot make it without Christ. Hallelujah. We continue. Oh, to fear God. We read Proverbs and it's Proverbs one and the verse is seven. Let us see the word of God. Hallelujah. We give him all his glory. Proverbs, the book of Proverbs 1, 7. Let's read. Proverbs 1, 7 says, For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of his, of his knowledge, but the fools despise wisdom and instruction. Beloved, they don't fear God. And when you don't fear God, where are you heading to? That means you don't obey his commandment. So beloved, we have to do what the master is saying. We have to fear Christ 
our savior, our king, our comforter, the one who knows us, our inside and outside. The fear of God, we must not sin against God. We know the right and the wrong. So beloved, let us be aware. If we fear God, we will love him. If we fear God, we will obey his commandment. And if we fear God, we will walk with God in all our ways. And the Holy Spirit in us will direct us. If we fear God, the Holy Spirit will prompt us to be righteous and holiness. Set ourselves apart for our master's use. Hallelujah. If we fear God, we communicate with the Holy Spirit in us. The teacher, our comforter, our guide, and our friend, and he will show us the deeper things, things that we don't know. If we fear God, he will reveal hidden things. And beloved, we must fear God and the Holy Spirit in us, our teacher, he will direct us. So beloved, let us be aware. We continue with the book of Exodus about this, our, our God, the owner of our life. Let us read Exodus 20 and the verses five. Let us hear his word. For you shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, your God, I am a jealous God, visiting iniquity of your fathers upon their children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me. Beloved, if you don't fear God, it's not you alone. It's going to go through your children. It will be the same thing your children's children. So beloved, we have to fear God. We have to fear God so that all what he said will not be upon us. So this afternoon, he is telling us. So this afternoon, the word has come. We have to sit down and think where I want to serve. I want to serve God Almighty or I want to serve the ungodly. Beloved, the ungodly self, the ungodly side is a torment, it's a punishment. And at the end, where are you heading to? So this is the day his message has come. Those who does not know God, they have to repent. If you fear God, you won't sin against God. You will repent from all your dubious ways. So this afternoon, where do you stand? Are you ready to serve God Almighty? Are you ready to fear him? Are you ready to obey his commandment? As he said, if you love me, obey my commandment. So beloved, it is a choice. And a choice must be a good choice because tomorrow it will be too late. His word has come forth. We give him all his glory. We give him all his honor for giving us a messages. That is the entire messages that we need, not prosperity messages. So beloved, we have to set our mind upon our Lord and serve him and obey him and fear him. We give him all his glory for he is almighty Jehovah. Father, we thank you. We adore you. We magnify the name. Holy Spirit, our comforter, our teacher, our guide. Today too, you have given us the message. And we thank you, covenanted God. We give you all the glory. Spirit of the living God, may you bless your end time prophet the one that you have ordained, the one that you are using to draw souls to the kingdom of God, and also the wife and the children. The viewers, may God bless your heart, desire. May God help you and protect you 
by availing yourself to listen to end time prophet. May God help you. We give all his glory to him. We thank you, covenanted God. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, your word has come forth. Amen.